Welcome to Capilano Suspension Bridge Park in North Vancouver. Good morning everyone. So today we are going to go out of the city and we are going to go to Capilano Suspension Bridge which is about 20, 25, half an hour away from Vancouver downtown. So I've sat in my morning with a coffee and sitting on the balcony. We still don't actually have a car here yet, so we are relying on public transport or in downtown, we're just walking everywhere. But obviously this is outside of downtown, so what we're planning to do today is go on the shuttle bus, which is a free service, but you do need to pay for the tickets beforehand. And the tickets are for entry to the park. Capilano Suspension Bridge Park is actually voted quite often as Vancouver's best tourist attraction and that's because it's bridges that go through the treetops and it's right through a canyon with fantastic views over nature, you know, just over water, over towering evergreens. You can walk along the cliff face as well. It's no wonder that so many people want to go there, so many people want to visit it, especially because it's so close to the city centre itself. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting out of the city and going into nature, if you will. Not that you don't have an abundance of nature here in Vancouver, you've literally got a city within a forest. Saying that, I do think Capilano Park is actually part of a rainforest, so yeah, that's quite interesting, pretty cool. Anyway, I guess I should go because I'm sat on my balcony talking to a camera on my own like a madman, so um... Yeah, on to Suspension Bridge. What if I can do a really cool transition? We've just arrived at Capilano Suspension Bridge. So when you first come in, you can scan a QR code on your phone and then you can download a map so you know where to go. And I can see the bridge right now, so we're gonna try and walk across it. James is, is afraid of heights, so uh, let's see how that goes for him. right now and James is terrified. <laughs> it is really wobbly. It says online that it's going to be wobbly and sometimes people wobble it but there's lots of warnings coming across here like stop wobbling the bridge for your health and safety but it's all ironed into the rock face basically with concrete so it's not going anywhere. Doesn't mean it won't twist. That's what we tell ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can do it you know. Oh god. I don't know if I can do it. So it shakes a lot. <laughs> it's like I'm a celebrity. Walking across the bridge. <laughs> and it shakes a lot. James walked all the way across because he didn't want to walk it. to walk the treetop part of Capilano Park. I might be sick. <laughs> James might be sick, but these are wooden bridges. They're a bit more sturdy over all the trees, well through the trees. So yeah, this pathway brings you up a level. So you're as, well, you're as high as the trees now. So once you cross the suspension bridge, you get to the treetop adventure path. So let's start the journey, I guess. bastard. <laughs> Aren't you enjoying it? No. <laughs> it's too high for me. The Douglas squirrels are the most popular squirrels here in Capilano Park and being at height with them we might even get a squirrel jumping on us right now. So yeah. 
It really has respected nature here because the walkways are built safely into the trees so it doesn't damage any of the wildlife. The whole point in it is that you get fantastic views. You're in the treetops literally, but right over there you can see the mountain with the snow on it. And actually we're in a rainforest right now. That's what's cool about Vancouver. It's, it's a rainforest, it's really weird. Vancouver is known as the green city and that is the case that they are the first ones to completely ban plastic bags when you shop and the reason they do that is obviously because nature is right on the doorstep here in Vancouver as we can see here in Capilano Park but everywhere else as well in Vancouver too and the great thing about this part is that there's lots of information telling you how nature can really help you one of those things is that if you bring some trees inside your home or put them on your balcony or something like that then they can help you reduce heating costs. The forest has inspired lots of creative thinkers, musicians, poets, artists and writers and creative thinkers and me being a creative thinker and writer, I'm just so inspired right now, oh my god. This fucking idiot. Not him, but Jeff. We're about to walk Capilano Park's newest attraction, I believe, which is the cliff walk, which James is scared of. And it is built into the cliff so you can really see the edge. <laughs> so we're really about to go into the rock face now. Apparently it gets really narrow, so I'm not sure how much that we can film. But I'm looking forward to it. It's not as wobbly by the looks as the actual bridge itself. See it loud. I feel like Miriam. See it loud. It's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can. <laughs> Stop fucking recording me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, the view's really good. I all, know, I've I heard, didn't see. all I've heard is James screaming and shouting because it's so high. So he's scared. Touristy, yes. Worth the visit, also, yeah. It's really no wonder that Capilano Suspension Bridge Park is voted as one of the best places to visit in Vancouver. It's in North Vancouver, so once you finish, you can go to North Vancouver. It's really nice to be in nature, respect in nature, and to see nature. I'll definitely come back and visit again, I think. Yeah, I've enjoyed the day. Because Capilano Suspension Bridge is in North Vancouver, we got an Uber down to the front of North Vancouver, where we sat and looked at the ocean. And then we caught the water ferry and went across back to downtown. So a visit to Capilano Suspension Bridge is definitely one of the things you should be doing when you first move to Vancouver, BC. When you come to Canada on a work and holiday visa, it's really important to remember that you are here to explore Canada as well. I mean, it's literally in the title of your visa, working holiday. So my motto is not to get so caught up in the life of work, although I have to remember not to do that. But still, we live and we learn, that's the whole point. But basically what we have to remember is that if it's your first time in Canada, you've got to see Canada as well and you've got to live that lifestyle. You've got to do what suits you. Don't forget to have some fun as well. Oh my God, this sounds very preachy. But no, Capilano Suspension Bridge is definitely a great place that you should go and visit when you come to Vancouver, regardless of whether or not you're on a work and holiday visa or not. They do a deal at Capilano Suspension Bridge where if you're a BC resident, you can sign up for 
for free and then you get free access. So they give you a card, like a library card almost. And I think what happens is you just flash the card when you go there next time and you won't have to pay the fees to get in. You should just be able to be let in. So that's a good benefit. So you better believe your boy did exactly that because I love a freebie, I love a deal. And everyone in Vancouver knows that it's very hard to find good money saving deals here because it's literally so fucking expensive. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was something that was fun for you. I hope you got something from it and you can start planning for the things you want to see when you're here. As usual, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends, and let me know if you're planning to visit the suspension bridge when you come here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next vid.